If Elon doesn't want to prevent certain people sharing their thoughts and opinions and ideas, Twitter's going to turn into a dumpster fire with no value or won't be able to find anything useful. These are the same kind of people who need somebody in a position of authority to tell them what to think, believe and do. These people are dangerous and usually quite dumb. Elon's goal isn't to turn what is already a dumpster fire of a company into an even greater dumpster fire. His goal is not to make the user experience of somebody who actually uses Twitter to consume and or create worse. The goal is to make it better. Censorship and quality of content, value and content, are completely unrelated concepts. Many people, however, conflate them almost automatically. This company or entity isn't telling me what I'm allowed to believe and think and censoring certain things so I don't even get exposed to ideas that I'm unfamiliar with that they deem unnecessary, untrue, dangerous or misinformation. My Twitter experience will be worse. I need somebody there making sure I don't see things that they don't want me to see. You know what's interesting about Twitter and we found this, uh, we, we have a lot of debate around ARC's own strategies, um, we can filter that debate ourselves. So we can unfollow people if we think there's bad behavior, but that's our choice. And we can... F Thank you. Jiminy Christmas. Finally, somebody says what I've been saying for years. You don't like Trump or you don't like me or you don't like somebody. You just block them individually block each other individually. We govern ourselves. If you don't like Trump, you block that guy. If you don't like Biden, you block that guy. If this person is a something supporter that you don't agree with, you block that person. There is no reason for a platform to ban somebody. Oh, but they might be dangerous. Then block them. Well, I don't like it. Then block them. You govern yourself. Finally, you have to be afraid. When you know that there are certain politicians that are guilty of murder and theft and incest and rape and minors in a private island, you know it. And they're not banned. But boy, the ones, I mean, you're going to ban this person. Why? Why? The ones that are good are being banned. You have to be afraid of protecting freedom of speech. And the very one, the guy that's coming in to save Twitter and open free speech is being attacked as if he's the one. <laughs> You're freaking kidding me. Oh my God, you guys. We live in an area. There's a quote out of the Bible that says... Good will be bad, bad will be good, right will be wrong, and wrong will be right. You have to see it. The ones that say they're all about legalizing marijuana are actually the ones that lock people up the most. The ones that say they're tolerant are the actual fascists. The ones that say that preach peace and safety are the most dangerous. So anyway, Kathy Wood there, and you, you have to go to Solving the Money Problem and watch the whole video. Very good information. M really great channel. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to Solving the Money Problem. Stephen Mark Ryan is a genius. He plays it off like he's dumb, but he's actually super smart. But anyway, there's Kathy Wood. She's a, hey, you know, Twitter, what are you talking about a dumpster fire? We can, if I don't like you, I block you. If somebody's gonna rattle my cage because they're a supporter of a certain political party or a certain viewpoint that I don't like, I thought Twitter doesn't have to ban anybody. You govern yourself like an intelligent individual. So what terrible rabbit hole are we going down when people are being banned because they have a certain political party sort of thing and if you buy all this stuff if you believe it you're following the wrong source but thank god somebody finally said what i've been saying think very carefully about why is it that only the right the conservatives the flag waving Americans, the red, white, and blue lovers, the why why are they getting 
banned deplatform. What? Why do you have to deplatform? Just block him. If he wasn't popular, if that person didn't have any opinion and nobody was following them and they had no friends and no likes, then you know, it's, it's a self-governing system. Same thing with the five-star rating system. Tip or no tip. Right? Word of mouth. Oh, man, that detail shop is a good one. You got to go there. Word of mouth. Okay? Learn what persecution is, what fascism is. Learn history. Controlling the media. Pop culture. Hollywood. The celebrities. Right? When they are all, and the mainstream media are all saying the same thing in a long line. And now the technocrats, right? The tech technology, the technocrats, the Democrats and technocrats. We got to be careful, guys. We are in dangerous ground. And Elon is, wow, right up there with one of our great American heroes. So if they care about the environment, why do they persecute Elon so much? Why do they attack him so much? If they really care about saving the planet and the environment and getting off of fossil fuels and the climate change, Tesla's the biggest contributor of that and started the whole thing. Why? Think about it. I know the answer. I'm asking questions to get you to think, right? Not supporting unions, not supporting advertising, and undermining the very thing that's created a lot of wars. The oil, big oil, right? I mean, come on, man. But they'll say they're tolerant, they're loving, that they're not the prejudiced one. That they care about old people, that they care about the climate and global warming and climate change. Take that, what they say, and flip it. 180 degrees and you'll see the truth and that's who they really are but anyway so glad to see Kathy Wood saying what I've been saying for years wait a minute why does anybody need to be deplatformed just everybody block that person if it's so bad block it if it didn't sell it wouldn't sell